Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Today we're going to take a look at my go-to choice for home and vehicle lightning protection. It's the EMP Shield Micro. We're going to take a look at the benefits and most importantly, we're going to take a look at how exactly do we install this on a vehicle. So I guess the first thing I should point out is this new Micro is 78% smaller than the original one, which makes it significantly easier to find a place to tuck it away out of the way underneath the hood of these modern vehicles, which try to pack absolutely everything they can under the engine compartment. So first off, let's take a look at how you install this. And let me tell you, if you can use the socket wrench, you can install it. Okay, welcome to the underside of my hood. <laughs> so first off, you need to find a nice flat area to stick this to. On the back, you'll see an industrial style adhesive. But what I also like, it's got hook and loop Velcro on it. So once you place it, if you ever need to remove it, you can leave the sticky behind and just take it off like that. We're gonna place this guy downward like this. It's gonna make it a little harder to see the LED light, but it's gonna make it easier for the wiring to go through there. What do we need to install it? Literally our fingers and a 10 millimeter socket. Zip ties are off. You'll notice an inline fuse right there. And that is really it. When you're ready to hook it up, we go red to positive. Then we find a bolt that goes to the chassis for the ground and then black for negative. That is it, folks. I'm gonna tear the adhesive off the back. We're gonna go down here like that. Right here. There we go, can you see that? Stuck that right in there. Number one, red. Now you could, if you really wanted to, you could strip these off and change out, make them shorter. I'm not gonna do that yet because I may end up moving this at some point time being that's where it's going to be so I've already installed a big inverter on this truck and that's part of what you're seeing right here do your best with your chubby fingers to not end up dropping the nut while you're at it last thing you want is your nuts to drop right at least at this age All right. All right, that's red. Now, if you want to get real creative, you can always put a zip tie on them. But for the time being, that's where that guy's gonna go. Next, we're gonna run the negative. Same thing, run him right over to here. Tuck him in under here. Same as the other stuff. You got a spot to hide him for the time being. All right, now negatives over here. That's it. Ground, man, we gotta sh we gotta shorten this guy up. But for now, we're not gonna. So we're gonna take this chassis nut off here. like that. There we go. All right. And what does that leave us? Just the negative wire right here. So in theory, Is that right there folks we got red there negative there and we got the ground to the chassis that should work now all we need to do let me see here you're never gonna see this during the daylight but right there your LED light comes on that's all there is to it that's it stick it one two well one two three four steps so let me share with you five reasons why I got the EMP shield for my Ram 1500. I guess number one, 
It covers up to $25,000 worth of damage if it fails to protect you against a lightning strike. Install this properly, it gets zapped by lightning, circuits get fried in your vehicle, and you're gonna have $25,000 worth of coverage from EMP Shield. The same reason I got it hooked up in the house. Number two, I look at this just like I look at roadside assistance. It's a form of insurance. Now, some people say, oh, if you're a real prepper, you don't need insurance. And I tell you, if you're a real prepper, you do. You need life insurance, you need health insurance, and of course, if you can afford it, roadside assistance, because hey, you break down on the side of the road, how much easier is it to have peace of mind for somebody to come and pick up your vehicle, bring you gas, whatever it happens to be. Same with this, lightning doesn't happen all the time, but I sure don't mind being covered for that just in case. Number three, vehicle tends to be the second largest investment in most North American fam. I've got my home protected by an EMP shield against lightning strikes, against surge protection, and if you're worried about it, against EMP. My second biggest investment is my Army Green Ram 1500 and my wife's matching bubblegum pink Ram 1500. So why not install lightning protection on both of those? Number four, something I love, it's an American company with an American made product. If I have questions or concerns, I can call folks up that I know by name and chat with them in Kansas. To me, that is worth a lot in this day and age. Number five, I travel on long road trips all the time and I like to be prepared. I keep a full size spare under the back of the truck. I keep a fire extinguisher. I got a tow strap with clevises. I got a first aid kit. To me, this is just another form of preparedness. Now, finally, I wanna share with you a couple of thoughts on EMP Shield. And this is where I try to talk you out of buying something like this. And the reason for that is, I'm not really concerned about a CME or an EMP. A lightning strike happens all the time. To me, that's what I wanna be covered for. If you're worried about a solar flare and you're worried about an EMP, fine. But for me, the protection behind this comes from lightning strike. Next, I really look at an EMP shield device, something like this, as a nice to have preparation. It's not a must have. So if you're here and you're new to preparedness or you're new to this idea, and you don't have a few months worth of food stocked away or a few months worth of water, you don't have your financial preps taken care of, then this probably isn't for you. Actually, no, it's not for you. Baby steps, folks. But if you've spent your money and your time getting prepped in all those other areas, and this is something you want to invest in, then go ahead and do it. So here's the thing, guys. I'm up front on this. I love this product. I got one hooked up on my house, and I now have one hooked up on my Ram 1500 as well. And I'm also a really big fan of value for value exchange. So first off, if you end up buying one, use code TOOLMANTIM and you'll save $50. Or click the link in the description below. And if you do end up buying one and use that code, I end up getting a commission as well. Value for value exchange. You save money, I make a little bit of money, I keep the lights on, I keep the generators fueled up. Here's one more thought. I can't test something for its effectiveness against an EMP, but I can read the report from Keystone Compliance that shows that it complies to military standard 1881251461G and 464C. That's a whole lot of word salad to tell you that you can read the reports, you can read the military compliance online, and you can see that these have been tested to that. Also, I haven't been unlucky enough to take advantage of their lightning strike insurance policy. However, when I did ask the company, they sent me five testimonial letters from five different people whose asses have been saved by the EMP Shield's lightning strike capability. They sent me five and two of them were a municipal water station out of Kansas City and a machine shop in Louisiana that had $1.4 million worth of gear attached to that panel. It blew this thing off the wall. They got a replacement. This thing went on the wall of fame there and they got their guarantee. So if you are on your way down the rabbit hole looking for EMP protection, lightning strike, lightning arrest, or surge protection for whole home, and you don't know, no worries. Check out this video I did right here. It's a full in-depth 20 minute review of the original EMP shield. And if you've stuck around to the end of this video, that means I probably made this video just for you. So hit the subscribe button, stick around. I got a ton more content just like that. And as always guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.